In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to both put down and remove paint to create a flowing water effect. This technique works great against dark backgrounds because the highlights of the water really pop. Here we go. Whoosh. I'm draping water down white over the fingers, which will dry a little darker than it looks going down. I don't want my brush so soaked that when it touches my panel, paint drips down, but then I also don't want so much pigment that it looks like milk or snot shooting off her fingertips. It's all about balance, y'all. I'm only working with a few parts at a time because I still want the paint wet so that I can take some of it off. And for that, I'm using a brush that's a little skinnier than my streams of water. I'll wet it and very lightly dab it on a towel so it's not dripping and go back over the paint in the center of the streams without touching the sides. I then give the brush a good wipe on my towel and go back over the same spot which takes up some of the paint. And this is like how a moist sponge absorbs water better than a completely dry one. Thanks, hydrogen bonds. Hey, and this same process just gets repeated over and over. Um, I let layers dry completely before adding another on top so that when I go to absorb more paint up, it doesn't take the previous layer with it. I'm using a similar technique to add some subtle shadows in the palm here instead of trying to meticulously blend. I just slap some paint on and then go over with a clean damp brush that I squeeze with my towel to take off any excess water. I'm using just the slightest bit of pressure and I'm not going all the way to the edge again because I want to leave that nice line of paint. Those screw trying to paint skinny little lines. Now onto the fun part of adding the highlights. This is maybe the most important part because it's what actually makes clear water visible to us. I'm adding them to the edges and also to any high points such as the meteor parts of the hands. I then go back and soften the lines up by touching just the edges of the highlights. More ripples will give it a runnier appearance whereas keeping everything smooth will make it look more viscous like slime or snot or you get the idea. And this process is again repeated, building up another set of layers. So over and over again, paint, soften, paint, soften. If you find yourself wondering, well, where is this water coming from? What are we doing in space here? Just don't concern yourself with any of these pressing questions and, and enjoy the show. And to really give the appearance of some wet fingers, I'm going to add a little highlight to each of the fingertips here. Boop, 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 boop. I'm also going to add one to this water droplet and any other round shape to show that they're glistening.
ただ。